You're pure light. You got nothing to hide. You don't have no shame, no guilt, no fear, because that's from a lower body. You don't have none of that in this fixed body. Um, the pineal gland, the angelic body, the Christ body, the light body. I'm just gonna say words, okay? And these words are alchemic. These words are like different seasonings to make a bigger pool of consciousness for you to to bathe in. Yeah, serenade your mind and 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 give you a broader understanding and a higher bandwidth for your consciousness, the mental body to grow. Anyway, back yeah. to reality. Just turned dirty, feeling like I'm getting old. Not many things get me out of pocket, but listen when it comes to my mind, body, and soul. Must believe I'm out this fucking world and I'm out of control. I'm going in, take it off from the bottom top, dancing on the clouds, tiptoe dancing all around the mold. Yeah, earth bomb with the fire. I'm is cooking hot in the kitchen with the spice oregano how you like it served tell me hot or cold this isn't for the faint of heart no this is for the bold nothing comes between to my mind body and soul must believe i'm out this fucking world and i'm out of control i'm going in out as all as it appears calling on the holy holy divine make it appear divine masterpiece let it coincide the cornerstone let it be open up my mind Time is now, let us see, come on, let's fly I can make the room, let's go, yep, getting high Letting go, not written with my words With the pen, but my mind Open the art, 5D, getting out of line Shaking roof, uh, hands up to the sky Someone searching the whole world, but they never gonna find Their soul, no, dear God, have I not said out what I tried To help the conscious community grow, expanding the mind Dear God, I claim my soul, repent my ego and my pride Now my feeling like a lion in me, rolling so down and deep inside it, the pain feelings no longer can hide. Time is now, enemies is drawing now. I step in the power and the truth, and I opened up my eyes, gave myself to God. Now I'm fighting demons, angels in the skies. I am the I am, some begotten of God. I am divine, chosen. This is the call. Call for us to shine, raise the rope. Guys, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm doing a lot of studying, and bear with me because. I can only speak on myself. So, as a, a, a Virgo Sun and Virgo Mercury, if I don't know something, I just don't talk about it. Because I'm the kind of guy, if I if I want to know something, I have to know it. And not only know it, I want to be able to communicate it effectively, in a way. You know what I'm saying? And. Um, so bear with me, I say all it says, bear with me, I don't know. And this is uncomfortable for me, but I'm trying to expand myself and grow. Such the same as a lot of you watching this. But y'all know we don't we're not just a physical body. That we actually have many bodies. And I'm studying at least twelve of them, the, the twelve bodies we have. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. Because this whole time during this transition, we've been in our fourth body, which is the astral body, the heart. We've been, been uh, at least for me, I'm trying to make sure my body's in the sun because I feel bad when it's not, but check it. At least for me, um, I would say the last, I would say the last year, I uh, really been in my heart space. But what, what just hit me is that I'm conscious of it now. I didn't know, no, I didn't know what it was. And you guys are like, you know, probably thinking, yeah, yeah, what, what, so, what, so what? But we gotta understand, when you actually have an eureka moment and you're conscious of something, you go from being a victim to being a master, I know now. You know what I mean? So, for people that walk in a room and you feel people, the fact that you can feel them means you're in your heart, your heart's on. I mean, it's your astral body and it's touching them. You know, eyes are portals, any of the senses are portals talking. You hear someone, like any any way to get your consciousness, get your attention is a form of a portal to uh, send light. You know, hope you, you guys know that talking is only one form of communication that there's so much communication going beyond that alpha beta that the reptilian mind or the cerebral cortex can collect there's a lot more communication that's going on it's just what are you receptive to 
Where, you know what I mean? How are you listening? Now, how am I talking? Because I promise you, I'm talking from, from my heart. I don't have time to think. That's what channeling is. You're literally not talking from this function. Anyways, we're not going to get there. But anyways, you have multiple bodies. And it's just, it feels good to actually know, you know what I mean? To be conscious of another body. That when you're feeling things hit your astral body, you know what I mean? It's deep. When you let things hit your astral body and then you pay them attention, you open up a portal, you get in contact with them. Just know that these are your astral bodies rubbing off. And then you're able, you know what I'm saying, able to discern, you know what I'm saying? Like, good luck talking to me, bro. I feel you. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> anyways. I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart, all of this, you know, going through the astral world like that and sensing people, um, not yet seeing it, because I don't believe we're ever going to see it with these eyes. You're looking at it wrong. This is what blew my mind. No, which we all know, but like I said, when you have a Eureka moment, it's a whole different experience. So as I'm going through, you know, places, dodging asteroids, I'm aware now that, hey, this is my astral body. And it's not me in the sense of identification, but it's me in the sense of it's a, a tool trying to indicate something. Mind is trying to identify. It's the process. It's the uh, it's the part of us that between the realms brings a logos, brings an understanding for our this mind to comprehend. You have higher facets of consciousness and awareness that we're tapping into. You know what I mean? Before we even get to the heart body, though, you have to master the first three, bro. You know what I mean? Get to your soul. The ability to create. The ability to cha-cha. To be able to, the ability to will. You know what I mean? Not a lot of people have a will to get out of bed. They don't have a will to brush the teeth. You know what I mean? So a lot of these people don't have wills. They're living under someone else's will. They have no power. Let's take the word will out and put power. Solar power from the soul. So they don't have it. They lost it. Well, where did it go? They gave it away. So you gotta, you gotta first master the first three. First three, three, six, then nine. You gotta master the first three. Physical, emotional, and mental. These three you need, you know, really are one. And that's the beast. Anyways, I just want to say, because I say it a lot, the heart is the only thing that gets us to transcend the 3D. And I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart, during these experiences that I'm on, but I can honestly say through these experiences that I had, you got to understand first on experience, ex actual word experience having knowledge of going through something um, trumps anything you can read, dog, even though I don't stop studying, but having that emotional intelligence, that mental intelligence, emotional um, stability, mental stability, and being able to um, master it and not be a victim. It led me to my soul. I'm, I, listen, we make time here in 5D. We're not a victim of time. We make time. You hear me? We, we make space. We make it. I made a time in the space portal capsule in this video.
These could be gems. But I pray, if not this generation, dear God, the next, someone will open ears. At least be intrigued. Damn. We're four minutes in. Not many reptilians would have made it this far. Their consciousness, their bandwidth can't hold this much light. They would malfunction. I know. So, didn't really plan any of this, but it's something I'm studying. I want to let you guys know. I know y'all doing the work too, but. Five D, five D, the archetype body, peeling away layers of identities and beliefs. Dang, that's that's crazy. That's where I, that's that's crazy. I feel like I'm there. Hope y'all just enjoy yourself. Take care of yourself. Get some sun out in nature. Yo, and before I go, I just wanted to say um, the sixth body. Um, the pineal gland. The angelic body. The Christ body. The light body. I'm just going to say words, okay? And these words are alchemic. These words are like different seasonings to make a bigger pool of consciousness for you to, to bathe in. Yes, yeah, serenade your mind and 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 give you a broader understanding and a higher bandwidth for your consciousness, the mental body to grow. Anyways, back to reality. Or I digress, right? So this is the this is where the star guy star gates realign for higher gates. Um, it's a sixth angelic body. It's a unified mental body. It's pure light. Um, no transparency. Um, you're pure light you got nothing to hide you don't have no shame no guilt no fear because that's from the lower body you don't have none of that in this in your six uh six body the angelic body your christ body your light body oneness you know so three that's six and they will talk about the rest but love y'all take care of yourself hope this video was uh Something that led you to expand your consciousness in any form, facet, or way. I feel spiritual on your channel. I might make another video, who knows? But I want to get in the habit of expressing myself. Um, it's worth the progress, I can be honest with you, to express myself. I have a lot I have to say, but I had to get through these channels and within myself. Beginning. So, love y'all. Take care. Keychains out.